Welcome to Purchase Automation in Sage Accounting. It's easy to set up and start using Purchase Automation. To do this, hover over Settings and choose Apps and Connections. Then choose Purchase Automation. Select the box to enable Purchase Automation and click Save. You can now upload vendor receipts and invoices to Sage Accounting. To upload a document, click Visit Vendor Bills or hover over Expenses and choose Drafts to Approve. You can also access this section from your vendor bills list by selecting the Drafts to Approve tab and from Create at the top of the page. To upload a new document, click Upload File. Browse to the file by clicking Select Files from your device or drag and drop your file into the box. You can upload 25 files at a time. The required format for each file is found here. To upload your chosen documents, click Upload Invoices. The documents you have uploaded will show in Drafts to Approve. The status of the document will be shown in the Status column. While processing, you will see this message. When the document is ready for approval, you will see to review in the status column. If the status does not change, refresh the page. If you would like to preview an uploaded document, click the file in the attachments column. Until the vendor bill is approved, the values will not show on your tax return or any reports in Sage Accounting as this is a draft item. To review and approve the vendor bill, click on the line item. You should check all details on the bill are correct before approving it. If you would like to view the uploaded document, click the arrow in the top right corner of the screen. To view this in a new window, click the Open Upload File link. Here, you can zoom into the details of the document as needed. Let's review the document and we'll start with the vendor. If the vendor does not currently exist in Sage Accounting, you can add them by clicking the Add Vendor link. If they are already a vendor, they'll appear here automatically. Check this selection before continuing. The bill and due date are populated automatically based on the document you have uploaded. You can modify these here as needed. The vendor reference will be automatically populated if this information appears on the uploaded document. You can verify or modify this information here. You can add your own reference if required. Notes are added in the Notes box when you assign the bill to another user to review. Each item line with the same tax rate will be merged in the list. For example, if you have five item lines on your bill at 13% HST, there will be one item line with the total value of all five lines. If you need to split these by different ledger accounts or tax rates, you can do so manually. The item column holds the description, which is automatically populated but can be modified. The ledger account will be set to your default purchase ledger account for that vendor record. Check the tax rate dropdown and modify as needed. Once happy with all of the information on your bill, you can remove, save for later, assign for review, or approve your document. Remove will save your bill to an archive list, which can be accessed from the More filter at the top. In this dropdown, choose Archived Only and click Search to view any archive bills. To unarchive the bill, click on it and click Unarchive. Save for later will save any edits that you have made and your bill will remain in the drafts to approve for you to modify or approve later. Assign for Review will allow you to assign the bill to someone else for review and approval. Approve will create this vendor bill in Sage Accounting. The uploaded document will appear as an attachment on the bill. Let's approve this bill. You can now find your approved bill in your vendor bills list. Customize your vendor bills list to show attachments by clicking the cog and selecting the box next to attachments. You can reorder the columns by dragging the items to your preferred order. 
To view the uploaded document, choose the bill, then click the link, and then the document to display it. You can now record a payment against the bill in the usual way. If you use bank feeds, simply match the incoming bank transaction to your bill, automating your accounting even further. Purchase automation is included with your Sage subscription cost. Switch on the functionality and start saving valuable time. Congratulations. You have now learned how to set up and use purchase automation in Sage Accounting.